All right, YouTube. Just got done rebuilding my Chevy Impala. It took a uh, took about a good six months uh, with working on, and waiting for parts and ordering parts and whatnot. I don't. I do this in my rec time. I don't do it in my. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to make a buck off it. But, <clears throat> anyways, after I reassembled everything, I don't know if you can hear that tick. It's killing me. I got a. A bad transmission mount. I don't know if, I, if you could see it shake a little bit. You can see that thing up there shake. Yeah, but you can feel a small shake from the car. Anyways, um, I got a, I got a code after I put everything in and ran it. Keep in mind, it was sitting up, as in, uh, it was like just sitting there on jack stands for a good six months. And uh, when I got done. Putting everything back together, ran it. I got a. I forgot to plug in a knock sensor. Well, that's one code. It said knock sensor circuit not detected. But this was the other code I got DTC P0481 cooling fan 2 control circuit. My cooling fans weren't turning on. I don't know if you can hear that now. I uh, should have got some paper. Anyways, fans turn on now. I just want to go through the troubleshooting that I did. <clears throat> this is the 2000 the Chevy Impala and Monte Carlo service manual. Right here is the um, cooling fan wiring diagram. Started off checking the relays, of course. Oh, well, fuses were the very first thing I checked. You know, it takes two seconds to check them. Check those. I checked the three relays with doing like a. Um, this was my ground to the to the relays, as in this pin and that pin, and this was my power to one of these pins. So I made a power or a power and a ground to activate the relay. Then I ohmed it out and saw what I got. All three um, relays work, so I'm like, oh, okay, great. I have a uh, since they're in series with each other. When these two relays and this one turn on, then. I'm sure one of these fans went out and it's taking the other fan out with it because that's just the system that it's on, right? I ohm this fan out at the terminals and I ohm this fan out at the terminals and both ohmed out fine. I had 0.01 or something like that. Both tested fine. And then <clears throat> after doing that, um, I saw that it was grounded out over here at the G101. This is the ground that grounds out the, the fans when it's uh, when they're in the high speed relay mode. When, in other words, when the computer grounds this, these two relays in that one click, and they both have their own 12 volt supply. When it's just the low feed, uh, they both only have the way it is. It's wired. They both only have one 12 volt supply, so they spin kind of, you know, kind of slow, which is the point. Um, anyways. I like having the service manual because it told me where this ground was and that is right over here it says check ground distribution uh, schematics and wiring systems well here's the other book right transmission and wiring systems and as you can see here I you know I already took the time to find it you see right here where it says number five upper right hand radiator corner radiator support corner number five we have a G 101 right there okay that was the ground, that was the last thing I had to check. And it translates into this one, this ground right there. I went ahead and uh, cleaned the ground because apparently it got corroded over the time that I was um, rebuilding the engine. And this was just sitting here. I didn't have to undo this bolt, this hole of course, you know. Um, you just unplug it in the, and you can uh, keep that you can keep this whole uh, wiring harness in the car when you take that car out. You can keep that whole one there. So since there was no need to remove it, I didn't. Anyways, just surprising. That ground, uh, of course I didn't let it overheat. I was like, oh no, no way I'm going to you know, keep going until I see this thing overheat. Or not see it overheat, but get close to overheating after a fresh rebuild. Um, yeah, the, these ticks, I know you guys are saying you just rebuild it and there's a tick. Look online. It happens way more often than you think. Um, 
I replaced the hydraulic lifters after I got the initial set. I thought there might have been one or two that were bad in there, whatever, causing the tick. Replaced it again, and nope, still have a hydraulic lifter tick. Look, let's see if you can hear the fans kicking in. See? It's kicking in just fine now due to this bad ground here. So don't forget, check your powers and you must check your grounds. Yep. Alright, YouTube, I'll see you later.